Let's open another. I had a lot of good mail today. I'm very excited. Some might hold on to the narrative. Doesn't matter though. They can't do policy without like a really overwhelming narrative. You'll see. Remember in December I said it would end in, in January? I'm, I don't want to sound like Scott Adams though. Now, after seeing how ridiculous Scott Adams looks, I'm not even going to claim like that I called stuff because it's just so embarrassing. When people are like, oh, I called it. Now all I hear is uh, Scott Adams. Which is just like so bad. This is from Ukrainian Bear. Exciting. Um, all right. Let's open this baby up. Sweet Jules Verne, Labo M. Nice. Good music. From Ukrainian Bear. Can you give me a note? I appreciate that, Ukrainian Bear. It's very sweet of you. Final package. And the drunk tank. An old man said to me. Fox says you're a bitch. You're a con song is the best thing ever made. Yeah, it's amazing. Cod, will you email me uh, Vox's uh, song? I'll play it for the stream. The Bod King of Bertaria. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I love that we have an official seal. You see that? Made in Bertaria. So cool. God, you sending it in? Yeah, ha, ah, look at that. Hilarious. Look at that, guys. For those of you just listening, it's a bear. It's a Jew bear with a menorah in a snow globe. Happy Hanukkah. I love it. All right. Bard King of Bertaya, I am Boulder Bear from the House of Panda. I have traveled from beyond the ice wall to bring you and the bears the truth about my kin, the panda. Many cycles ago, in the realm just beyond the summer gates, man as you know it today did not rule, but rather the bear was the master of our realm. More specifically, listen, more specifically the strong, brilliant, and fertile panda was the ruling glass. So, am I supposed to do this in a uh, Chinese accent? I'm just going to keep doing it like this. The good, true, and beautiful society in which most bears crush and live grand lives of 911 years. And the average of 33 pandas offspring per year amongst the ruling class, the panda. All bears in the realm lived in harmony and there were many years of peace. One day a bear adjacent the anteater known for its large nose began to act out against certain groups of bears. <laughs> they felt as if they were chosen bears and attempted to subvert all bear nations. By the time the new millennia had drawn near, the anteater had been kicked out of 109 bear countries. They pushed runaway bear videos and laced runaway bear videos and laced salmon. But the bear community was so strong due to the panda's leadership that these degenerate behaviors mostly stayed amongst the anteaters themselves. There were many other types of bears in this realm with different strengths and weaknesses. The black bear were fun-loving, based at their core, but were often tricked by magic bears of the realms and had inclinations for grape salmon. The polar bears were often intelligent, great planners, 
but controlled by their desires to fit in. So true. Too many paws down on bear tube could lead a polar bear to despair, or a polar bear to despair. The brown bears were hard workers, reproduced at a great rate, but the females could be quite spicy, and the males had a predilection for other brown female bears. Red bears were great athletes, ruled by the plains of our lands for years, before the parentheses, 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 polar bears introduced them to fire salmon. All bears had their strengths and weaknesses except the panda, which reigned supreme and led the realm with great prosperity and true wealth for all. As the saying goes, hard times create strong bears. Strong bears create good times. Good times create weak bears. Weak bears create hard times. Hard times indeed. The panda had ruled the realm in peace for over 33,911 years, and in a moment of weakness, their compassion for those bear adjacents who never fit in with any bear community gave birth to bear coin over to the anteater. There wasn't much use for bear coin, as we were a society of barter, trade, and trust. Only one generation had passed, and the subversive nature of the anteater had grabbled my kin, and they had become selfish, degenerate shells of themselves. I left the capital city of Bolataria when I was no longer a cub, and I seemed to be the only panda with eyes to see. The salmon production was now done in laboratories, and the anteaters had convinced my kin that they were to cause that they were the cause of each other's newfound illness through something they called viruses. They all lined up for the bear shot. Some based polar bears, led by Politer, saw what was coming and tried to control the anteaters' degenerate behavior by sending them to fun camps <laughs> where they could learn to be part of a peaceful society. The anteaters took advantage, and next thing you know, piles of bear claws was a sign of hate and never heard the end of it. These anteaters were, they were so-called Behutzpa, became exhausting and wore down the great nation of the panda bear. All right. My line, the panda, got it the worst, as were no placebos in the shots they lined up for a short 666 years. Later, the ruling panda class had gone from grand base leaders to retarded clumsy bears whose favorite pastime was pissing on their own face. They no longer had the desire to procreate and only got around to it once a year and spent most of their day stuffing their faces full of bamboo boosters. I was the only panda left who had refused a shot, and the land of my ancestors was no place for me anymore. I escaped through the summer gates and was making my way north when I heard of a bear bod king that had a group of bears that were similar to my ancestors. I'm here to join your bear clan and teach you the ancient secrets of the panda. I humbly ask to be verified as Bowler Bear, the last surviving member of my kind. I seek no revenge to the anteater, as anteaters do what anteaters do. I but blame my, my kin, as there had never been any victim mentality amongst the pandas until recently, and I plan to crush in your realm as my ancestors once did. I will repopulate the line of the panda with my great libido, not grabbled by the bear shot, and my line will return to the glory one day. We was Kangs once, and we will be Kangs again. To be clear, it's not all anteaters, it's their behavior. There are a few good anteaters out there, I know one in Toronto. I have brought you a gift from the lands of your kind, the polar bear. Unfortunately, nothing is allowed that is not adorned with the signs and symbols of the anteater. I hope this gives you inspiration and a consistent reminder to be careful and stay strong. Stay true. If not, what happened to the panda bear can happen to you. And here we go. Look at this. Look at that sweet white polar bear. It's being made to push the hootspa. Great letter, polar bear. Thank you. It was like an athletic endeavor for me to read that. But I did it. And I did it damn well, didn't I? Didn't I, polar bear, you piece of shit? All right, that's going to be it for me today. Um, I'm supposed to play a song or two. God, hit me with the final Super Chats. 
Yeah, awesome waters today. Awesome waters.